Hey there YouTube, this is Jumbo Videos 01 and today I'm bringing you guys yet another Android phone tutorial right after that last one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to play Game Boy Advance ROMs for free on your mobile Android phone. So the only things you're gonna need this time is a computer, internet connection, a phone, and an Android marketplace. So now we're gonna go and turn on the phone. We're gonna go into the marketplace and we're gonna search we're gonna search Mojo GBA like so click go and we're gonna find it mojo gba Lite. that's what we're gonna download I already have it downloaded and what it does is exactly what the other version is it's exactly the same as the pay version pretty much uh, I really haven't seen any difference so I just kept the light version Okay, so now we're gonna open it up. It'll give you a screen like so. And now, if you don't have any Game Boy Advanced ROMs on your device, then you're gonna wanna go get some. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Right now, I'm gonna go to the computer side of things. Uh, well, actually, let me do one more thing real fast. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect this thing up so you can put ROMs on it so hold on and I'll show you that so what you're gonna do now is you're going to take your phone navigate to your computer you're gonna find the wire that comes with your phone hold on a second let me find mine which is this wire the wire that you use to charge your phone as well and you're gonna plug the charging end which is this end uh... well this end and your phone like so so it's connected and you're gonna connect the other end which is a usb port into the usb port on the side of your computer and now I'm gonna go to okay, the computer now side. We're on the computer side of things. Uh, what you're gonna do is after you've plugged your phone in, you should look at your phone screen. It should say USB connected, and should you have a button at the bottom of the screen that says turn on USB storage, you're gonna click that or tap that on the phone, uh, and you click OK when the thing pops up. Now it should be on, and this should pop up it'll say removable disk F or whatever yours is called uh, if you change the name click close I'm gonna go to the start menu go to the computer section now we're gonna go into removable disk F and it should have all these folders now what you're gonna, gonna wanna do is you're gonna find a folder called the DCIM open that up and make a new folder and call it ROMs so what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click uh, you're gonna click uh, new and make a folder and name it ROMs or you can name it whatever it really doesn't matter I already have a ROM Pokemon Sapphire uh, what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna go on the internet and search for a ROM just go into Google hold on I'll show you you're gonna wanna go into Google or whatever your search engine is, mine is Bing. <laughs> yeah, crappy search engine, but I like it. So we're gonna look for a ROM. Say you wanted uh, uh, Pokemon Ruby. Pokemon Ruby ROM download GBA. Game Boy Advance. Okay, and Cool ROMs is a good site. It's 
well as ROM Hustler, but I like cool ROMs. So we're going to go and do cool ROMs. I'm just showing you an example. This is how you would do it if you're looking for a ROM. Uh, you can pick any game. It doesn't have to be a Pokemon game or any game that you haven't heard of. It could be any game at all. As long as they make it for GBA version. It has to be the file that you download. It has to be .gba. I'm not going to download this because I already have a ROM. I'm just showing you guys for your information. And now once you get the ROM, you're going to go back to where we were. So let me go back there. You're going to go back to the DCIM folder and your ROMs folder. And you're just going to drag it in here. These files are pretty small, so just drag it in there after you finish downloading. Uh, now you're going to go back to the phone side of things. Okay, now, sorry about the lighting, but now that you have put the ROM on there, you're going to unplug this, and I'm going to show you guys what to do again. Okay, back to the lights. Okay, so now that you have it, the ROM on your device, you're going to go back into Mojo GBA, and... Press menu to start. You're going to find the menu button on your phone. Go to menu. Load game. And you're going to... It'll probably be... Around right here. So you're going to go into... The SD card section. And then... DCIM. ROMs. And locate your ROM. Here it is, and I'll show you guys how it works. This is Pokemon uh, Sapphire, I believe. And there you guys go, it plays with the ROMs perfectly. And also, one more thing that I had trouble with, uh, to save a game, you click the menu button again, and you'll click save, and you'll click one of these game saves to save it into. I always save in first two just so I have it and watch. I'll load the game. Click save and there we go. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell me if I did something wrong. Uh, and I'll see you guys later.